Today we're gonna be making sushi, but it's not just any sushi. We're gonna get a bluefin tuna, which is what most people would call the Wagyu of the sea. I'm not gonna keep you waiting though. Let's go grab a small tuna. All right, so we are headed to the seafood market. You know I love visiting this place whenever we get fish because it's kind of fun to just walk in there and not know exactly what you're gonna get. But obviously today we know we're looking for a tuna. So let's first cross our fingers that there's actually even a tuna in there. I don't see why there wouldn't be. And we'll be there in a few minutes. All right, we're pulling up to the fish market and we are finally here. I always love visiting this place. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that Guga? Who is that? Yo, Guga? What are you doing? Up, Nick? What are you wait, what are you doing here? This is my Well you know I used to be a fisherman what's up? and I uh, wanna check out the spot. This is I come here all the time for fish. Really? Yeah, what what Maybe the hell? Maybe you gotta you, show me around. I watch your YouTube video. Are you from Florida though? Yeah. So what the hell are you doing? I watch your fish? YouTube videos. <laughs> Are you like Master Chef I'm, Nick? I'm coming to grab a fat tuna today. No Actually, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm grabbing a tuna. Can I hop in? Uh, get in the car. Get in the car. <laughs> Let's do this, bro. So Nick, he brought flip flops back and then wearing boots. On. How do I look, Manny? You look great. Google, what's the what's the hairnet protecting? I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the big one, right? Yeah, That's look at that. One. That's gonna be your fish. Yeah, nice, Nick. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very cool, man. Unbelievable. Joe, you're good with this thing. Oh, practice. Look nice at this. Place. I'm gonna go back this way to get a little space. Feel the, feel the skin. I was gonna say, you better have a sharp knife. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You better have a sharp knife. This thing is absolutely, it's crazy. It's almost as thick as many. <laughs> huh. That's awesome. Look at how it just breaks apart, the fat. That's how fatty and delicious. It's like the Wagyu of the sea. I mean, look how fatty that is. Now, if you fatty, you see it, the fat. This, you see this right Yeah, here? yeah, this seems Sometimes, a lot more fatty than this one. Yeah, and when you see, cool. this is yellow fat, there's no fat. No fat, yeah. No, you see? So yellow fat has a lot less fat, it's leaner. Yeah, yellow fin is not much fat. And blue fin's got a ton. Yeah. So wow. Nick would be more like a yellow fin. I'd be like a yellow fin. Yellow fin. Skinny. Yeah. <laughs> I am a blue fin. <laughs> yeah. Blue fin, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Why you blue fin? That's what I am. Let's get the hell Luckily out of here. I got my boots on. So yeah, look at Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is <laughs> I'm not gonna go to the gym today. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're professional lumpers, so. See. Alright. This is the first instance. Yeah. Go yeah. you wanna put the seatbelt on? Yeah, let's put the seatbelt on. <laughs> That's awesome. Go. Wow! Look at that. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very Good much. Luck. I don't think anyone's ever fit a, a, a bluefin tuna on a Tesla, so. I think he did it before Soldier Boy. This is crazy. Keep that seatbelt on, though, buddy. So we're finally on the way back. We got the bluefin tuna in the car. I don't actually know how we fit it in here, guys. I really have no idea, right? This thing is a better navigator than, than my girlfriend who always takes us the wrong way, so. <laughs> That's pretty sick, That's man. gonna get that you in some a... trouble, man. Nick, thank you for inviting us, my brother. I appreciate it. This is a one thank out you, of man. lifetime opportunity right here. I was going there with the intention of getting a small fish. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm a big I don't... boy. You can't get a small fish for me, no, my brother. I needed Why? I wanna I needed eat, man. <laughs> Let's go back and make some sushi. All right, unbuckle the seatbelt first. Let me see if I can help you. Oh my god, so oh. heavy. I'm good, buddy. What, what, what the f is that, dude? We got a human body, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's a bluefin like, tuna. That's sketchy as f dude. Thanks, Vinny. You're welcome. Good luck with that. You're my man. favorite, Vinny. Half a body. Before we get started, I know you really want to see us break down this whole tuna, but Google, what do we got to do first? Hit that like button, man. Come on, it's right there. It's so quick. We'll give you just a second to do it, and let's get cooking. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All right. All right, this is the kitchen. This is where we cook. Let's do this, man. I'm so excited. Right. This right, is a big boy. You I know. Ready? I know. Yeah, let's try to get it. All right. Oh, I'm going to call that, Nick. <laughs> oh, man. That took my breath away, boy. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> Let's open this up, Nate. Let's okay. see. Here, you want a knife? Yep. Oh, here Holy you go. moly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's not a knife. <laughs> That's a samurai sword. Chop through this thing. 
and get out this tuna. So this is probably the biggest fish I've ever seen. And you used to be a fisherman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about it? This is definitely not the biggest yeah, fish Yeah, I used to ever. catch uh, yellow uh, tail. You know, they're Probably like this big. <laughs> so yeah, this is, it's is sick. sick. Holy it's moly. It looks even bigger once it's touched down in the kitchen, I almost feel like, right? Like, wow, wow. Look at that, we got the sign. We got Nick and Google on there, huh? That's pretty sick, I like right? this sign. Yeah. We almost need to save this, but I don't think we can save this. Nah, nah, oh, nah. throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so first things first, we're gonna slide this thing off of all the plastic. Oh my God. All right, perfect. Now that is a piece. <laughs> That's what I'm talking it's about. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and the skin is so thick. It's like, so thick. thick. I mean, you can hear it, right? It's like a door. I mean, it's really strong. Yep. Right? It's thick. And then right here, we have the cork that has come out of the fish. So basically, this will be used to show the quality, right? Exactly. The, how much fattiness it has. The color is very important as well. And we can tell that this one is going to be a perfect fish. Oh, it's going to be tasty, boy. Yeah. So first things first, we're going to break this entire fish down. And since Guga is, you're, I mean, you're, you're a fish butchering expert. You're a pro fisherman for a long time. I do, okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you guide me through this thing. I I've, I've personally honestly never touched a fish this big so wow me neither that's a little bit over my size okay but I, we're gonna try and we're gonna do our best all right so let's start where, where do we start so the first thing we got to do is take out this loin right here and okay. I like to start on the back right Perfect. here so the skin is really thick and we need it is super sharp knives we're using brand new sharp knives absolutely right yeah yeah if not we're not gonna be able to cut it through okay. so right here there is the spine and we just basically want to follow that as okay. you can see it is going like butter yeah. and I'm tilting my knife down so against I can, the spine Fine. Exactly. Get every last bit of meat, right? Exactly. And so already you're getting super nice separations all the way up through, right? Yep. It's amazing. Perfect. This is awesome. This is seriously crazy. Bro, what are you doing? Go. Go, come on, man. Let me do my job here, man. All right, so at this point, Google's getting pretty far back into the fish and you're going kind of bit by bit, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm basically trying to follow the bones right here that is on the bottom because this thing is huge. It's massive. The yeah. knife isn't gonna even fit all the way back in. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, so. think it is. I can't look, the knife this is, is all the way through and I cannot feel. They have another bones right here and I cannot even feel the yeah, bones. You're not there yet. We're That's gonna need a bigger good. knife. Oh, oh yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're ready, Nick. Yeah, I think this is gonna be able to, to probably fit. I can feel the spine with this knife. You can? So, yeah, perfect. yeah, I can feel this. I think we open it just perfectly fine. here. Wow. You hear that crunching sound too? That's how thick this skin really is, right? All right, Nick, so now we just heck off the collar perfect. and then use the knife and just check it so down this right this big there. bad boy right there is the collar, huh? There you go. So we just come right through oh there. Oh my God, look, look at this. this. Thing. And you're saying right here. That's the best part of there? the meat. Right here, guys, it is the best part right there. Absolutely delicious. And Google is saying it looks very similar to Wagyu. Which yeah, I same thing. I totally agree with. I mean, that's crazy. So right there is all the Toro. That's the belly yep exactly here maybe we'll show wow. so really quickly now we're gonna taste a little bit of each thing just because yeah. i want we gotta get this of course scrape it right off there look at that it comes off like fat it's like is it awesome look at that it just comes off like no problem are you hyperventilating yes i am that is sick everybody <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Wow, so fatty. Mm, a little bit of a soy sauce on this. That's it. It's like slightly fishy flavored butter, essentially. It just melts in your mouth. Perfect description. Oh, well, so, you want to try yeah, this one? Yeah, let's try a teeny bit. See how different Just to try one. that lean fish versus the really fatty fish, just to get So it here's set. a little bit of the bloodline. So Which this one is going to be a little bit more fishy. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit higher so I don't get so much bloodline like that. Oh, that's still so good, man. It looks fantastic. Mm. Right out of the ocean. I don't even want to butcher it anymore. I just want to eat it. Let's keep butchering them. We got to make go. the sushi. We gotta all right, let's sushi. go. We got work to do. So one big machete all the way down, right through the spine, right? Yes, there is some, some bones right here. We're yeah. trying to avoid it because we're going to leave the bones there and then we're just going to go straight down. All the way down the spine with this big giant machete. Wow. That's perfect. And I can feel the bone as I'm going down. Google, you killed it. So after we've gone all the way through the fish, right? We're good. We can yeah. take this whole piece off. Look at oh. that. It's a tuna loin, yeah? Oh, 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 oh. Wow, this is beautiful. And it's clean too. Absolutely. It's in that perfect shape, right? Yep, yeah, exactly. Look at that. And also you can tell Google knows what he's doing because you look here and there's really not much of that fish left. And what you're gonna do is we're just gonna scrape these last little parts off. That's what we'd use to make a spicy tuna roll. You'd have all that extra tuna. Nothing goes to waste. You exactly. might friend, know how to break down a fish. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. That's all that's left, huh? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Eat it. Eat it or you're fired. So at this point, we're gonna use this filet knife, right? Yeah. We're gonna just take out this bloodline. This is what goes right through the middle of the entire fish. If you've ever tasted blood, it tastes bad, right? Yeah, it tastes like strong. You don't want it. It no. tastes like heavy metal. So Gugu's gonna very gently cut out the bloodline because that is not something that we want in our sushi. And I'm trying to go nice and slow so that I can you know, minimize waste. 
Bro, you're touching my fish again? He's, I'm sorry. Like, I really am sorry about him. Easy. We're gonna give it to you. Just be patient. Pa Stop touching the fish. Now that we got it off, we just want to go straight down and off the skin. Flip 90 degrees here, right? Yep. And we want to go nice and close to the skin. Yep, exactly. Back and forth, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Come all the way out, and we got that beautiful piece of fish. Look at that. Great job, Look at how Nick. beautiful oh, that is. Man. That is crazy, huh? Oh, so that's where we got the good stuff, some of the good stuff down yeah. here. Yeah. I'm so excited for this sushi. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna cut a bunch of really nice tuna steaks here, because we finally got this nice loin that's ready to slice, so look at these. And you can see all those patterns on the fish there. You can tell this is just really, really perfect tuna. It's almost like the marbling that you'd see on Wagyu, right? So once we've broken down this whole tuna, we've now taken that loin, we've cut it into these beautiful steaks, and this is a tuna steak that you'd go and cook on a grill, right? Absolutely. But now we're gonna take this a step further and cut these into nice strips where we're then gonna make some beautiful sushi. Oh man, let's do it, Nick. Let's go. So now we're just gonna cut some really nice strips of this tuna so that we can easily lay these into our sushi roll. As you can see, that right there is a perfect piece of tuna, wouldn't you say, Guga? Absolutely beautiful. So now I say enough talking and let's do it, Nick. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're already working with the Wagyu of the sea, I wanna use something special, especially because Gugu's in town. So we're gonna pair this tuna sushi with a bit of foie gras, which we're gonna very quickly sear off here. It's essentially like cooking butter, right? We have to cook this really, really fast, or we're gonna lose all of it. Exactly. And while Gugu does that, I'm gonna hit it with just a teeny, teeny bit of salt so we get some of that seasoning on. Right. That's it, we're pretty much done. Immediately we'll take these off the heat so they don't overcook. All right, so to start, we're gonna get our hands just a little bit wet, it helps a lot with the sushi rice. And we already have our sushi rice here, it's really well seasoned, it's all ready to go, it's nice and sticky. So right now, I'm just gonna press it out all the way across this nori. And I actually like building it where the nori is on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's just so much easier and cleaner. You can keep it all tight in there, you know what I mean? We don't wanna overwhelm it with rice. And then we're gonna go over with a little bit of the seasoning. It has some seaweed and sesame seeds. And now, Guga, is where we're gonna get to the fun part. So let's first put this avocado down, but I have a quick little surprise I wanna show you. Okay. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So Gugu, this here is how I torch my certain things in the kitchen, okay? This yeah, is no ordinary torch. Hold on, Nick. Yeah, I got Gugu. Take it easy, bro. <laughs> Torched avocado to me is the best way to have avocado most of the time, if you're using it on something like this. The flavor, you've had torched avocado, have you? Yes, yes. The flavor is unbelievable. Let's <laughs> quick little torch. <laughs> And once it's been all nicely torched like this, we're, we're good. So we're wow, gonna have that perfect. flavor. Little bit of foie gras. That's gonna give that really nice fatty flavor, right? And then I'm gonna go on with a little bit of Japanese mayonnaise, because you all know how much I love that. And of course, we can't forget, Oof. the tuna. This is gonna be a big sushi roll, oh, huh? Man. All right, so to roll it up, we're just gonna pretty simply come all the way over the top. We're just gonna make sure it really nicely seals at the bottom there. And we're gonna give it a nice tight squeeze so that it's fully sealed. And that right there should be a beautiful sushi roll. Oh, that's perfect. What do you think? Yeah. Good, right? And it's so much easier to do inside the nori like that, you know? I say we cut it. So now we're gonna slice this into beautiful pieces. I like to start in the middle first. Of course. Wow. That is a full, beautiful sushi roll. Oof. Wow, you excited about it? Oh my God, I can't wait to eat this thing. So Guga and I started fighting and we had to make a section sushi roll because we didn't want to share the first one. It was definitely not gonna be enough. And you were gonna beat me in the fight, I think. So That's right. I, I, was not about to, I was not about to go into that fight. So these look amazing. Like absolutely, said, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. They look absolutely delicious. I love the colors that are in there too. I always talk about color of food, you know? Yeah. And they have so many different colors here. We Beautiful have, presentation. I, I cannot wait to see how the tuna and the frog rice is gonna taste together. Yeah. Never yeah. had that before. So we took the leaner part of the bluefin tuna and we paired it up with foie gras and avocado, both of which are very fatty. And so that's a really cool way of kind of putting everything back together, getting that perfect fat to, to meat mixture, right? Should we just try? I say enough talking, let's go for it, Nick. You ready? Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Oh, what are bro. you? Bro, that's enough, Nick. Bro, you gotta fire this guy, man. Are you, did you really just eat one of his? You ate one of his too, he's our guest. Wow. What's so good? Go handle this, go handle this, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's let him stay for the rest of the video and then we'll. Okay, cool. All right. So back to the sushi. Really, honestly, that's some of the, you know, one of the best, craziest, best bites of sushi. The combination of the tuna and the foie gras is insane, everybody. I know it can be controversial, but I'll tell you one thing. That is a wonderful combination. Good job and on that one. And the torched avocado is also fantastic. <laughs> Seriously, you have all those different textures, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing that honestly we're missing, we could put cucumber, we could put crispy onions in here, something to get a little bit of crunch and crispiness, but it yeah. doesn't even need it. I don't think it's necessary it's at amazing, all. It's amazing, right? Yeah. We're going for like a soft, delicious bite 
It's creamy, it's fatty, the mm. fish is amazing. You can taste each individual thing, which is also very important, right? The creaminess, guys. It's unbelievable. It is incredible. Great job. Thank you for inviting me, Nick. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for being here today, Guga. I appreciate it. Guga came all the way from Florida. He is the absolute king of steaks, but he also was a heck of a good fishmonger, however you'd call it. You were, you were amazing with that. So I love fish. You, thank you for teaching me how to break that big thing down because honestly, I've broken down a lot of fish in my life. I've not done anything close to that. Yeah, it was pretty big, guys. It not was. gonna lie. Thank you everyone so much for watching. This was a really fun one. And honestly, these are some combinations that you should try out if you ever get the chance. I agree 100%. It is fantastic. Thanks for the invite, Nick. Now I wanna see you in Miami so that I can cook you some mad steaks. Next video is gonna be a little bit warmer outside. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Google and I have quite a lot of work now we're gonna sit down and probably try to eat as much of this tuna as we can get and we'll see, we'll see how much of a dent we can take out of this thing i think we're gonna be doing good i think we're gonna do great so we're gonna get to work on that and we'll see you next time